Hi everybody, my name is Brian Stinson. I work for the Community Platform Engineering team at Red Hat. My team at Red Hat takes care of the infrastructure and some of the processes for both the Fedora and CentOS projects. I'm here to talk a little bit about an introduction to CentOS Stream. CentOS Stream is a distribution that looks forward to the next minor version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. It sort of sits in between Fedora, which is more focused on integrating upstream projects into the operating system, and RHEL, which is more focused on responding to enterprise customer needs. CentOS Stream is meant to be an open shared space as well as a distribution, uh, but an open shared space for folks who care about the enterprise Linux ecosystem so that they can participate in development and some of the feedback mechanisms that we need a, in order to work together in the, in the ecosystem. This development is directed by Red Hat and it's targeted again at the very next minor version of RHEL. Ecosystem developers in CentOS Stream get a preview of what RHEL has planned for the next minor release and they also get a place to register ideas about what they think should come next. You can propose patches, you can also propose bugs, in order to get a better say into the whole RHEL development process. Now, if you remember kind of how things were structured even a couple of years ago, you can think about this in terms of CentOS Linux, which is a separate distribution from Stream. CentOS Linux used to be further downstream of RHEL. Folks could have a direct say over what went into RHEL early on in the development of a major release by getting their changes into Fedora. So changes would make it into Fedora, they would make it into a, a RHEL major release, and then there was a little bit of a, a long feedback loop. Because with CentOS downstream of RHEL, there was feedback that needed to communicate back up to the other two distributions, but it kind of took a little bit of a spider web approach here with interactions between all three. Once a RHEL major release went GA also, feature development of that particular release also transformed into a process that wasn't really as transparent as Red Hat wanted it to be. And one effect that this also had of the, the way that the development cycle worked was that Fedora was far ahead of Red Hat Enterprise Linux while Enterprise Linux feature development was still going on. And ecosystem developers, people who wanted to build with RHEL, found it progressively harder and harder to get changes, quote unquote, upstream first, like we like to talk about here in the Red Hat space. They found it harder to get those changes in, but still build on and test on a platform that looked and felt like RHEL. And it was sometimes, given the, the spider web nature of how the, the communication happened, it was confusing about where to land a change in the first place. So that's the sort of the old model of thinking in the way that the three distributions were positioned with each other. This is the new way of thinking. Here's the vision with CentOS Stream. With CentOS Stream in between Fedora and RHEL, Red Hat can make decisions and communicate them earlier to the ecosystem as a whole. If Red Hat Enterprise Linux is going in a particular direction for one minor release or another, the folks out in the public can notice that change, comment on it, and even propose changes themselves a whole lot earlier in that process. So developers know what's coming, and this shared space of collaboration lets us truly practice upstream first by landing features in Fedora, giving those features an enterprise flavor in CentOS Stream, and responding to Red Hat customer partnership and certification needs down in RHEL. As you make your way around some of the other content that we have today, You'll find uh, some details about the types of contributions that we're looking at, even initially here in the, the first steps of CentOS Stream. You'll also find uh, a little bit more detail about what the next minor release of RHEL looks like today. You can actually go and download CentOS Stream and, and try it out for yourself if you like. We'd like to give an overview of the contribution process and talk a little bit about the infrastructure that we're building to make it all happen. If you're familiar with the operations in Fedora or even in RHEL itself, we're, we're trying to work together on some of the same tooling to make sure that we produce the distributions in a, a similar manner. If you'd like to try CentOS Stream out today, you can visit the centos.org download page. 
There are also links up at the top under the contribute header to the CentOS Devel mailing list and a few IRC channels if you'd like to participate in that fashion. So we hope to see you both around in the chat rooms and then also out in the community.